Today's vocabulary read aloud is music in the snow. Our target vocabulary words for this week are concentrate, creative, expression, performance, relieved, tune, vibration, volume. Read your words with me this time. Concentrate, creative, Expression, performance, relieved, tune, vibration, volume. As you listen to our story today, I want you to clap each time you hear one of your target vocabulary words. As always, as we read along, we will be stopping to answer some questions. So pay close attention as you listen to our story. Music in the snow. At first, everyone said how pretty the snow was. They were surprised to see it falling so early in the year. It was only late October. Then the snow started coming down thicker and faster and sticking to the ground. Everything outside slowly turned white. By three o'clock, the roads were covered. Only a few brave parents managed to get their cars through and pick up their children. A school bus got stuck as it tried to leave the school's driveway. The students bundled off the bus. They tromped back into the building, carrying their backpacks and lunch boxes. Albert carried his violin case. At first, it was like a party. Everyone stuck at school was in the lunchroom. No one knew how long they would be there, not even the teachers. Then around five o'clock, the electricity went out. Suddenly, it wasn't a party anymore. The children were tired, hungry, and bored. Some were a bit scared. Albert sat quietly, but he looked uncomfortable. He was new to the school and had not yet made friends. That's when the principal, Mr. Daka, had the idea to have a concert. The music, he said, would help everyone relax. It would help pass the time. The teachers helped get the drums and recorders out of the closet and set up on the stage area. Mrs. Fisher's class had learned a drum pattern earlier that day. Her students came to the front and took their places. When they started to play, everyone stopped talking. They beat the drums forcefully. The volume was so loud, everyone could feel the vibration of each beat through the floor. After that, groups of students came up to play a tune on recorders, do dances that they had learned together, or sing songs that everyone knew and could join in on. Some kids got creative and made up raps about the snow and getting stuck at school. There was lots of laughing, clapping, and shouting. It was getting a bit wild. The teachers tried to get everyone to settle down. <clears throat> at first, no one noticed that Albert had taken his violin out of its case, but the room got quiet as he carried it carefully up to the front. After a quick nod, Albert closed his eyes and began to concentrate. He started a slow, sweet song filled with expression. His violin seemed to be singing about loneliness. The students could feel that loneliness inside them. It made them sad and quiet. Then Albert's song changed directions. It got lighter and happier. Albert opened his eyes and smiled. The notes got faster and faster until they seemed to skip. There was a big chord. Albert lifted his bow up into the air and the performance was over. Everyone in the room started to clap and shout. Albert looked relieved, but also proud and happy. At that moment, the lights came back on. The clapping and shouting got even louder. Albert smiled and took a bow. Great job listening, my friends. I want you to continue on to the next slide where you will work on matching some of your vocabulary words and using your context clues.